We're going to begin tonight with an update to the breaking news we first brought to you tonight on ABC 2 News at 5. Three Morgan State football players stabbed on campus. The university's president held a meeting with students tonight. ABC 2 News' Christian Schaefer live on campus right now. Christian? Jamie, one of those students is in critical condition tonight. A university spokesman said that that fight today may have stemmed from another fight last week after an on-campus party that had to be broken up. A chaotic scene on the campus of Morgan State University. Three football players stabbed during a fight. One of them with serious injuries left bleeding on a bench outside the dining hall. Some individual pulled out a knife in the middle of the altercation and just widely began swinging. Hours later, the university president held a meeting with students saying they need to find better ways to resolve conflicts and talk more about the good things happening on campus. We're number one in the United States in producing black electrical engineers. We're number one in producing black civil engineers. He asked students to hold each other to a higher level of accountability. The stabbings, university officials believe, involved some of the same people from an on-campus dance late Friday night, which had to be ended early because several fights broke out there. Morgan is about opportunity. In the last three days, those days are not what Morgan is about. City police are investigating the stabbings. Commissioner Anthony Batts was on the scene. Police took several students in for questioning. University officials say one of them is the suspect. So when you hear things like this, it's just more of a reason that someone has not to come here, but they don't get to see the great things that we have to offer, which is really, really just disheartening. And again, all three of the victims are players on Morgan State's football team. One of them is listed in critical condition, and it appears tonight that police have an idea of who the suspect might be, but at this hour, no one has been charged yet. Reporting from Northeast Baltimore, Christian Schaefer, ABC 2 News. Thank you.